called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Spots and Stripes. I hope we didn't forget anything. Let's see, I've got the roller and the paint. I got the hats, drop sheets, and the brushes right here. We're all set. Animal Junction's gonna look even better after we're finished. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> Today, we're painting Animal <laughs> Junction. Yeah, so all sorts of amazing animals will find us. Let's call Zabu. Zabu! Do you think Zabu will help us paint? Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey, Zabu! Oh, buddy! Oh, he's really leaping today. Zabu, we're painting the place. You want to help us? Zabu? Come on, we have the paint and everything. Want to help? Well, you know Zabu. First he snacks, then he yaks. I'll get him some. Let's see. Look at the jackpot! Look at all these colors! Zabu's gonna love this. Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah! Grab a brush and help us paint. Brush, brush, yeah, brush. I think we should paint Animal Junction green, because green is a yummy color. <laughs> yeah, green is a yummy color. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, we'll paint it green and lots of other colors. Lots of colors. That reminds me of the animal I saw. He had lots of colors and stripes. Stripes? Uh -huh. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a big furry head in front and a long twitchy tail in the back. He was a playful four-legged creature and he liked to hide. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. At first I couldn't see him, but then when I looked again, there he was. An orange stripey wildcat. Do you know who he is? We can figure this out. Okay, let's see. Orange fur, black stripes. The stripes! That could only be a tiger cub. Tiger cub. Manga striper! Mystery animals here! Martin, what's that sound she's making? She's practicing her growls, Abu, making sure we know that she's pretty tough. Yeah, don't forget, tigers are the biggest cats in the whole world. Brothers, I know big when I see it, and she's not big. <laughs> she's not now, but she will be when she grows up. When she was born, she only weighed as much as a jug of milk. But when she grows up, she'll be 500 pounds or more, as heavy as a motorcycle. Wow. But for now, she's just a stripy little tiger cub. I can't believe my mind how many stripes she has. Yeah. I love tiger cub stripes. I'll call her Stripey. Yeah. OK, Stripey the tiger cub. Hey, what if we paint Animal Junction with tiger stripes? Great idea, Zabu. Yeah, Animal Junction with tiger stripes everywhere. 
painting is great, no matter what you paint. And no matter what you paint with. <laughs> Come on, Stripey, you can help us. Here's the paint. Whoa. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Here's the drop cloth and the brushes. I have the hats. One for you, Zob. Hey, thanks. But who turned out the lights? So what do we do first? What do we do first? First, we have to put down the drop cloth. OK, put down the drop cloth. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights again? Have you ever heard of a ghost gleamer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. OK. <laughs> OK, Stripey, well, hold still so we can see your stripes. Yeah, we're going to Tiger Stripe Animal Junction, so the whole place looks like Stripe. <laughs> I'm painting orange and black tiger stripes. <laughs> Way to go, Zabu. It's a good thing all three of us are painting this. It's a lot of tiger stripes. We're almost there. Yeah. All done. Finished. All right. <laughs> Chris Martin, you've got tiger stripes in your behind. Huh? You both have stripey behinds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chris and Martin have stripey behind, stripey behind. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so we have tiger stripes on our behind. But where's the tiger? Oh. Try looking behind you. Where? Do you see the tiger anywhere? He's hiding in our stripes. There he is. <laughs> Way to hide, Stripey. That's why a tiger has stripes, to hide. His stripes help him blend in with all the shadows of the forest. Stripey, are you trying to hide now? <gasps> I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Look, a new animal visitor, a spotty cat. <laughs> Yeah, she's a serval kitten, Zob. Hey, and there's another one. A tiger cub and serval kittens together. It can only happen in Animal Junction. Serval kittens are covered in spots, just like stripey is covered in stripes. Spots and stripes. Are you thinking? What I'm thinking? Let's paint spots in Animal Junction. Serval spots. Animal Junction will look even better with stripes and spots. Let's do it! I got it. I'm painting spots, black spots and orange fur, just like the serval. All right, and this will be our serval wall. Just lay down the tawny coat like that, and I'll put on the spots. We're finished. All right. Hey, where did serval kittens go? I can hear them, but I can't see them. Where could they be? I don't see them anywhere. Can you see any servals? No, oh, there they are. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the servals blended right into the spots and stripes we painted. Serval kittens have great camouflage. Camouflage? What's camouflage? Camouflage is what helps a creature blend into his surroundings so other creatures can't see him. Take a leopard. Do you see her? There she is. Yeah, good eyes! But you can only see her really close up. You go a little further back, and boom, she's gone! That's camouflage. Hey, what's that sound? Sabu, look behind you! Hmm? Manga and Zika. More animals are here to play with tiger cub and servals. <laughs> I said it once, and I'll say it again. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Kawadis, servals, and tigers all together? Look at this. Kawadis have striped tails. See the stripes? Look at the pattern on a kawadi's face. White circles around the eyes. <laughs> hmm? Kawadis love tiger cubs. Well, they're climbing all over them. <laughs> they went up on the porch, Stripey. Yeah, there they are. Go get them, tiger. <laughs> Stripey's so friendly. Wow. 
Manga and Sika, her paws are huge. Almost as big as half a baby kawaii. Whoa, they're having fun. You know what? I'm feeling tiger cubbish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel tigerish. How about you, tigerish? <laughs> I'm a stripey little wild cat and I know how to hide. Tigerish. Back to painting. What do you want to paint now, Zop? Uh, more tiger stripes. Tiger cub has stripes everywhere. And Dalmatians have spots everywhere. Dalmatians? What are Dalmatians? Over here, Zop! Dalmatians on me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered in spots! Dalmatian spots! Spots and stripes together again! <laughs> Dalmatian doesn't have camouflage spots, he has licky spots! We have all kinds of spots and stripes here today! Painted ones and creature ones! Hey, we should paint some Dalmatian spots in Animal Junction! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Dalmatian spots are fun because you can do so many things with them. You can do little spots or big blotchy spots. Hey Zop, let's paint this section exactly like that puppy over there. Which one? That guy. Well, the little one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that little guy. I just have one spot on my belly, but he has them all over. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to paint. That's my paintbrush. Look out. Look out, guys. Uh -oh, sorry. Whoa! Hey, careful! Whoa, it's hard to paint with a Dalmatian pulling on your tail. Whoa! 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 whoa. Wait! Dalmatian! Let, no, let go! Whoa. Whoa. whoa! whoa! Bet you thought I was gonna fall. Not this time. How are we gonna get any painting done when these puppies want to play? That's it. Let's play! Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah. If we tire them out, they'll have to take a nap, and then we can start painting again. Mm -hmm. Come on, puppies! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Whoops! Whoa. Hey, come back with my hat! <laughs> <laughs> There's your hat. <laughs> hey, come back here. Hey, maybe they're getting tired. I don't think so, Chris. <laughs> I know how to get them to go to sleep. I can tell them a nap time story about one time in Sabu land. <laughs> Great idea, Zop! Okay, listen up, everybody. Oh, I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. <laughs> when I bumped into Sensen. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu! Nah, I really want to test my senses. Nah, my smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Nah, can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, nah, Sensen. Nah, on. One, two, nah, nah, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree, and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even sense it can see me here. Say Zabu! I can smell you, but I can't see you. You here? I'm over here. Oh, wow, what senses! My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking! <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me! Sabu with striped camouflage stripes! Sensei thought my joke was so funny that he laughed for the rest of the day! The end. It looks like everybody's still awake. Kawadi, Servals, and Stripey are still playing. Huh? I guess my nap time story didn't really work on the animals. But it sure worked on Martin and Chris. Playing with the spotty Dalmatians really tired them out. <sighs> He's sleeping. I just got a great idea. I'm gonna paint Martin spotty. Then he'll look just
just like a Dalmatian. Now I'm gonna put stripes on Chris, and he'll look just like stripes. Ta-da! We did it, Stripey Chris and Spotty Martin. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep during the story. Where's Chris? Chris? Hey, Chris! Over here! But where are you, Martin? I'm over here! Hey! Hey, you're camouflaged by spots! And you're camouflaged in stripes. There's only one creature who could have done this. Do you know who it could be? Yes, Abu! <laughs> it was me! I painted Dalmatian spots on you, just like the puppies. And tiger stripes on you, like Stripey. And you didn't even wake up. <laughs> Spotty and Stripey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The Krat Brothers are Spotty and Stripey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Incoming duck! <laughs> it's not a duck, it's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon. Yeah, Sticky Feet has stripes, too, on his legs. Yeah, yeah. stripes are everywhere in the creature world. Mm. Let's see if Jackie's into stripes. Hi, it's me, Jackie. I was butterfly watching, and I discovered how monarch butterflies are spotted and striped. I was looking at these milkweed plants when I found the creature who turns into the monarch butterfly, stripey monarch caterpillars. Those caterpillars ate the milkweed leaves till they were stuffed. Then they spun a cocoon, and they turned into a monarch butterfly with lots of spots. It was pretty amazing. So if you see one of these milkweed plants in your garden, don't pick it. To you, it might look like a weed, but to a butterfly, it's home. Monarch caterpillars have great camouflage stripes. So does Chris. There are all kinds of incredible spots, stripes, and patterns out there in the creature world. So let's check them out. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> 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 The closet knocked their spots and stripes off. Manga Zika! Come on! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, buddy! Bye, brothers! Chris and I are in a race to find as many spotted and striped creatures as we can. I'm looking for striped creatures. And I'm looking for spotted creatures. Okay, Martin, let's synchronize our watches. And meet back here at 0900 hours. Got it, 0900. You ready? All right, let's go. Oh. Hey, you, hubba hubba. Whoa, oh, oh. A whole herd of zebra. Now that's a lot of stripes. And all those stripes are great protection from predators like lions. When a lion looks at a zebra herd, it's hard to tell where one zebra ends and the other begins. That makes them harder to catch. But me and my horse don't have zebra stripes, so we better get out of here. I wonder if Martin found any spotted creatures yet. I didn't even spot you coming. But how could I miss him? He must have the biggest spots in the creature world. And those spots and long neck make a giraffe look like a tree trunk standing in the shadows. Another camouflaged creature. <laughs> Whoa. I better get moving if I want to spot some more spotted creatures. Hey, I wonder how Chris is doing. I'm playing peekaboo with a banded mongoose.
Check him out. Mongoose stand up like that so they can see over the tall grass. Look at her back. Do you see what I see? Stripes! That's two striped creatures I've seen. I wonder if Martin's having as much luck as I am. Spotted creatures, dead ahead! Are we in luck? A pack of spotted hyenas. See why they're called spotted hyenas? They have spots all over them. But you know, they're not all spotted. Baby spotted hyenas are dark, dark brown with no spots. Well, that's two spotted creatures. Whoa, better get going. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna win this race. Hey, you think we'll get a better view if we climb a tree? Me too. Come on. Spotted creature. A cheetah chilling in the grass. Whoa, and look. More spotted cats coming this way. Cheetah comes. And these little spotted cats really know how to wrestle. Now there's a great striped faced creature, a cheetah cub. Oh, 0900 hours, time to find Chris. Martin, <laughs> right on time. Yeah, and we found some creatures that were spotted and striped. Hey, I also found a spotted hyena. Did you? I saw a banded mongoose. Oh, I love it. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Maybe we'll see a lot of other creatures on our way back. Back to Animal Junction. And you know Zabu's gonna be up to something good. Do you hear Zabu? No, I don't. Well, let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Whoa, skunk alert. A whole litter of skunks. Amazing. More striped baby creatures in Animal Junction. And they're not just stripey, they're stinky too. If a full grown skunk sprays you with her stink, it can last on your clothes for a year. <laughs> well, we found five skunks, but where's Zabu? I'm right here. But they'll never find me. <laughs> I'm right here, guys. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Over here. Where is that lemur? I don't know, but if he stunk like the skunks, we'd find him easy. No, no, don't lick me, don't lick me, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, don't lick me, don't lick me, no, 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 no. You're gonna give me away. <laughs> Stop licking, they're gonna see me. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the puppies found him. Yeah. I'm a new kind of lemur, a spotted lemur. <laughs> hey, have you met the skunks yet, Sabu? <sighs> stinky. Five stinky skunks. And look at that skunk pattern. That's not for hiding. That's for letting other creatures know that the skunk is here. It's the skunk's way of saying, here I am, and don't get too close or I'll spray you. You wouldn't want to be sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> you trying to climb up my leg? Come on, you can make it. Come on. <laughs> I love it. A striped skunk climbing a spotted lemur. Spots and stripes, together. Right, skunks? Hey, you know what? I remember another story from Sabu Land. I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Narchi, <laughs> oof! I said, hi, Narchi. Uh, hi, I've been wondering, why do you have that spot on your belly? Oh, well, see if you can guess, Sabu. Hmm. Oh, let me think about it for a little while. Hmm. Okay, yeah. guess away. Uh, I don't know. Yep. Okay, let's see if Fibby can guess why I have a spot on my belly. Fibby? <laughs> Is it your belly button? Nope. Um, belly buttons aren't smooth and orange. Oh. How about you, Google? Oh. <laughs> Can you guess what my spot is? Oh, I think it's a gooberberry stain from when a gooberberry hit you in the belly. Oh, is it? Is it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Good guess, Google. Oh, That's thanks. not it either. <laughs> Besides, I like zoot fruit better. Well, I'm ready to guess now. Does it help you to hide? You know, to camouflage you? No, I guess I'll have to tell you. It's there to show me where my belly is. And I gotta say, I think it makes me look good, too. <laughs> So Narchi's spot made us all understand that creatures have spots and stripes for a lot of different reasons. The end. <laughs> wow, today was a really spotty, stripey day. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Sabu? Oh, when the spots and stripes played together. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, and I loved it when you painted spots and stripes on me and Chris. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs>
I liked meeting all those incredible spotted and striped creatures. Oh, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! yeah. I gotta show the world my spots. See ya. Bye, Zav. And there are so many more spotted creatures out there. Let's keep on hitting the creature trail. Spots and stripes forever. Hi, my name is Matthias Bieber. And my name is Martin Bieber. These are our dogs. <laughs> hey, creatures. We're practicing our climbing so we can scale the cliffs like the climbing creatures. Yeah, but creatures who can climb don't need all these ropes and special equipment. They're born with everything they need. Unlike us! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go canoeing. Or we could call one of the best climbers we know. Want to? Come on. Zabamafu! Zabu, have you been climbing today? Hey, Zabu's here, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Come on. Zabu-mafu! That leaping leaner, and what a climber. Hey, Zabu, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, wanna scratch? One lemur snack coming up. Garbanzo beans. Hey, Zabu. Hey, Chris. Thanks, Martin. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you chew, Zab. Give me some of the food. <laughs> hey, I've got a surprise. What, Zabu? I can't tell. It's a surprise. Oh, come on, Zabu. Tell us who you saw. That's the surprise. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There were lots of legs and tails all over the place. The legs were a little wobbly, but they were always on the move. Ears too, and eyes that checked out everything. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Furry, twitchy tailed pouncers. Do you know who they are? I know who it is, but lots of tails and legs. <laughs> so many crazy colors. A kitten! Hey, come here, little guy. <laughs> There's another one. Sitting on the clock. Mankatsika. Mystery animals are here. And that's not all. There are lots of kittens here. There are kittens everywhere. Everywhere. Whoa! Everywhere. Everywhere. Of course, that's it. It's not one kitten. It's not two kittens. It's not three kittens. It's tons of kittens. Yeah, all these kittens are dizzying my mind. Oh. It's kitten chaos. No kittens up my sleeve. So check your other sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better gather up these kittens before one of them gets lost. How do we do that? One at a time. Let's go look for the other kittens. Whoa. They're not always easy to spot. There's one. Here's one. When you find them, bring them here. 
Here's one. Come here, guy. Meow. <laughs> kittens get into the funniest <laughs> places. <laughs> no kittens in here. Just a lemur in a bag. <laughs> Here's one. The last one. Hey. They're all together now. Where are you going? Come back here, buddy. <laughs> this guy's a little wobbly. This orange kitten really likes you, Zabu. She's the only one not exploring. Well, I guess they're still finding their way around, huh? Yeah. Well, these kittens are only seven weeks old. They're babies. That's right, Zab. Which means their mom probably isn't far away. Let's watch them until their mom comes to get them. It'll be easy. Okay, Zab, but I don't think it'll be that easy. You'll see, it'll be easy, easy, easy. We'll have to keep a close eye on them. Speaking of eyes, this little guy has light green eyes. Looks up. Wow, green eyes and, and really long hairs on his face. They're called whiskers, and cats and kittens' whiskers are really good at feeling things. Hair with feelings. That sounds great. Yeah, cats' whiskers. Well, and kittens. And kittens help guide them through tight places at night. They use their whiskers kind of like extra hands to feel things. <laughs> They're a little ticklish too. Huh? That's a big kitten. Look, more kittens. Those aren't exactly kittens, huh? Hmm? They're jaguar cubs. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> hey guys, cubs wanna have fun. <laughs> Let's play with them. Great idea. You got me. Okay, I give, I give, I give. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Whoa! <What? laughs> oh, I got you back. <laughs> nice pounds. Want to practice fishing? <laughs> it's tougher in the water, huh? <laughs> You leaving? Hey, Chris, Martin, the Jaguars are leaving. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, Martin, here's one of the kittens by the pond. I think I know what she wants. She looks like she wants to go swimming. Well, she probably doesn't want to go swimming, Zabu, but she might want to go fishing. Kittens are really curious, and this kitten is curious about this catfish. Catfish? Does she meow? No, she's called a catfish because she has whiskers like a cat. And like cat whiskers, they're for feeling. What about the kitten? Will she go in? Well, house cats really don't like water, Zob. Not like some wild cats, like those jaguar cubs who were here. Oh. These kittens will grow up to be house cats and they'll hunt mice and birds. They can practice by hunting my tail. Come on, guys, hunt my tail. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kittens, it'll be fun. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> hey, kitten, that tickles. <laughs> you play good. <laughs> that's what kittens do, Zob. They play, and that's how they learn to be cats. <laughs> Human kids love playing like cats, too. Uh-oh, kitten's getting stuck in my tail. <laughs> That's because she has retractable claws. What's a retractable claw? This is. Oh, <gasps> her nails go in and out. That's right, Zob. Cats need to have sharp nails for catching and climbing. A retractable claw only comes out when it needs to. That way, they stay sharp. Even big wildcats like leopards have the same retractable claws that dig into the branches of trees when they're climbing. And of all the big cats, leopards are the best climbers. Check out this move. Guys, guys, look who's here. It's Popper. Popper loves to pop all our balls with his retractable claws and sharp teeth. Guys, save the soccer ball. We'll try, Zob. We gotta keep it up and out of Popper's reach. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Popper 
pop another soccer ball. <laughs> Bye, Popper. Pop back soon. Hey, guys, I can't believe my mind. That thing is moving. It's moving? I know I haven't washed my sleeping bag in a while, but this is ridiculous. Uh, Martin, if it's a sleeping bag, then why isn't it sleeping? <laughs> because the bag doesn't sleep, Zob. We sleep in the sleeping bag. Then who's sleeping in it? I don't know. A, a kitten! kitten. Kittens are very curious, like all baby creatures. Exactly. They're trying to learn about stuff, just like you, Zob. <laughs> I've got a cat crawling down my back. <laughs> there's a cat in a hat. And there's a cat with a rat. There's a bat, a rat, and a gnat. Wouldn't it be funny if kittens took over the world? Yeah. Then we'd all be kittenish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kittenish. How about you? Kittenish. I feel kittenish. Kittenish. I'm a passwatting kitten playing with some yarn. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, oh no. Brothers, brothers, the kittens are getting away. It's kitten roundup time. We gotta get these kittens good and safe. Rounding up kittens is a blast. Yeah. Get along, little doggies. Huh. I mean, kittens. <laughs> Maybe taking care of kittens isn't so easy after all. There's one of the little rascals. Yeah. You stay down right here, you hear? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I think we're almost there, partner. Ha, we nearly missed you, little fella. Plum tuckered out. You can say that again. Hoo wee! I'm plum tuckered out. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> partner. Yeah. What's that noise? Is that your stomach again, Chris? No, Zob. Listen. Hmm? Hear that? Oh, she's purring. That's what kittens do when they're happy. Wow. And it's not just kittens who purr. A lot of wild cats purr too, like cheetahs. When a family of cheetahs all take a nap, it's a cheetah purr fest. Wow. <laughs> Martin? Chris? I think these kittens are thirsty. While the Crack Brothers are sleeping, I'll give them some milk. See? See? They're slurping it all up. And now I'll tell you a story. I was leaping along in Zabu land. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap. Leap. Leap, and I landed right in the middle of a sand pit with Snow Lemur. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, hi, Zabu. I, I love playing in the sand. Yeah, yeah, it feels good running through my fingers while playing in the sand. Makes me so happy. Well, if it makes you happy, why don't you purr? Oh, good idea. Oh, purr, purr. Oh, that's even better. Purr. Mungatsika. Then I saw Google eating Googleberries, and he looked really happy. And I said, hi, Google. Hi, Sabu. Uh, are you happy eating Googleberries? Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh. Then why don't you purr? Okay. Good job, Google. Google did such a good job purring, we both started to... Oh. But then Green Puppy popped out of a bush. I said, hi, Green Puppy. Hi, Sabu. Are you happy today? Yeah, I'm so happy. I could lick ya. <laughs> that tickles. Are you happy enough to purr? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can lick and purr. Lick, purr, lick, purr, lick, purr, lick, purr, lick, purr. <laughs> the end. Did you like my story, kittens? 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 Oh, no. They're wandering again. Now I know that taking care of curious kittens isn't so easy. I better get the brothers. Chris, Martin, wake up. The kittens have escaped. 
this looks like a job for the professionals. You're right, Chris. Time to call in the big guns. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. We need more kitty callers. Oh, we'll, we'll help. Hey, here, here, kitty. Here, yeah, kitty. here. We have to call louder. No, here, yeah, kitty. kitty. Yeah, kitty, yeah. Kitty, come on. Come on, yeah. come on, you call too. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look, there's one of the mother cats, and there's the other one. We did it. Hooray! Hooray! The kittens are with their moms again. Yeah, and everyone's happy to see each other. See you later, kittens. Bye, kittens. I liked playing with curious kittens, but now they've all gone home with their moms. In comes stuck. It's Moonface. The barn owl with the special delivery. Hi, you guys. This is Rapunzel. Even though cats do a great job cleaning their own fur, brushing them is a super way to show them you love them. Rapunzel likes being brushed. Plus, you can give the loose fur to the animals. See? Birds pick up the fur and put it inside their nests. This way, the baby birds are warm and cozy because they don't have many feathers yet. It's great to help bird mums take care of their babies. Listen, she's purring. I have a question for you guys. Rapunzel's purring because she's happy, and lions are big cats who live in the wild. So I was wondering, do lions purr? That's a great question. Do lions purr? Well, let's find out. Come on. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Uh-oh. You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Oh. <laughs> hey, look at this. A set of car keys. But I don't know what car they're for. So what? Bring them along. They're going on a cool adventure. And they're they're the one who wants the storm. They're, they're coming, coming from, from the closet. And they're headed out the See door. See you later, Zabu. We got a great trip going on. Bye, Krat Brothers. This way, Martin. Right behind you, brother. Come on! Lions live in a big group called a pride. And like house cats, lions like to take naps. They usually take a nap in the afternoon. So if they do purr, there's a good chance we'll hear them. Wait. Chris, I hear purring. It's coming from behind us. You're right, bro. But I don't see anybody. Wait a second, Martin. It's coming from back there now. You're right. I hear it, but I still don't see anybody. Hold it, Chris. No, wait. It's definitely back that way. That purring is really close. Yeah, somebody's got to be making that sound. Maybe we should drive around and see if we can find them. Yeah, if we had our Jeep. There's one of our Jeeps. Huh? Excellent. All right. Uh-oh. But there aren't any keys. Maybe the keys I found in the closet will work. Hey, let's try them. All right. <laughs> this Jeep really purrs. Let's go. I hope we can spot the creatures who are purring. They must be around here someplace. Hey, Martin. What? Look, a leopard. A leopard is one wild cat who doesn't purr. Rhinos. Well, they're definitely not purring. Martin, hold it. Lions! Lions are the most social of all the big wild cats. And lion cubs stay with their moms longer than any other cat. You know, they all look really happy, but I don't hear them purring. It looks like what we've heard is true, Martin. Yep, lions just don't purr. But somebody is still purring. I don't believe it, Chris. The kittens from Animal Junction. <laughs> 
They were in our backpacks the whole time. That's where the purring was coming from. <laughs> Rascals? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Hey, let's take them back to Animal Junction. Okay. It's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah I guess you guys wanted to go on the trip too. You're almost home, kittens. And I bet your mom's looking for you. Here she is. <laughs> she looks happy to see her kittens. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. You hear something? <laughs> hey, Sounds like Zabu. Let's see yeah. what's going on. <laughs> oh, roll me over that way. Yeah. <laughs> over here. Whoa. Oh, you got strong paws for a kitten. <laughs> Yeah, one more time, one more time. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, roll me over. Hey, Savu, what are you doing? That's one playful kitten. A <laughs> kitten? What are you talking about, Savu? That's not a kitten. That's a cougar. Cougar? Cougar? But he looks just like a kitten, except the. Cougar is bigger. That's for sure, Zob. A lot bigger. A cougar is a type of wildcat that's really good at jumping. He can actually jump more than 20 feet in one leap. See how his back legs are longer than his front legs? That helps him move through the steep valleys and canyons. Ah, <gasps> Manga Tsika. He can jump just like me. Jumping with a big pod cougar is manga tzika. A cougar's paw is a lot like a kitten's paw. The claws go out and in, out and in. Retractable. And look at his eyes. Yeah, Zabu, those beautiful eyes let him see a lot better at night than we do. They do? Yeah, try the eye spy. Uh, okay. Let me just... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I will set them to people, all right? And this is how a person sees at night. Wow, oh, yep, it sure is dark. Okay, and now mm -hmm. I'll adjust it to cougar so you can see how cougars see at night. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Whoa, wow. Hey, cougar, not so close, not so close. Whoa, <laughs> I meant to do that, yeah. Come on, Zob. <laughs> Thanks. Anytime, Zabufu. Hey, and this is how all cats clean themselves. <laughs> the more they lick, the cleaner they get. Just like kittens. Does he purr too, like the kitten cats? Let's have a listen. You hear that? What a purr. Cougars are the largest cats who purr. Huh. So they do purr like kittens. And just like kittens, cougars love to play. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'll play with us. Yarn ball? No thanks. We played already. <laughs> okay, Zom. <laughs> I think we're getting a little tangled up with this game. Yeah. That ball reminds me of a mango fruit from Zabu Land. Oof. Oh, sorry about that, Zom. <laughs> but it didn't hit me in the head. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. Leap. Lee, when I met Sensei. <laughs> Hi, Sensei, I said. Hi, Zabu. I'm looking for mango fruit. Can you help me listen for it? Oh, sure, Zabu. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I hear a lot of purring. Oh, it's Google. <laughs> oh, I'm a pussycat. <laughs> uh, let's go over here, Zabu. I can't hear very well with all this purring going on. Purr, purr, no, no, no purr, more purring. And it's Green Puppy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm the one who taught Google and Green Puppy how to purr. Oh, that's okay, Zabu. I hear something. I hear something. Oh, over here. The purring is nice, but I can't hear with it. Oh, a nice mango fruit bush. I hear Zabu. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. And Sensei and I ate this sweet, juicy mango fruit, and we were so happy, we started to purr. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Those are some funny-sounding purrs, Zabu. I know, but everybody was happy. <laughs> hey, and what did you like best about today, Zabu? Oh, I liked the way the kittens played and pounced on everything. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I loved the way that the cougar played with Zabu. Uh -huh. 
My favorite part was when the kittens were hiding out in her backpack. <laughs> kittens are manga chica. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! yeah. Bye, brothers! See you later, Zav! Bye, Zavu! And we'll see you later, too. Yeah! Wait a minute. Kittens? No kittens. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lauren, and this is my cat, Bogart.